Hi guys, I'm Anissa and I'm back with another video. Today is time for my October TBR. I can't believe, believe October is already here, but it is that it is. And it is what it is and it's October and yeah. Um, I don't have, for the first time in almost this year, <laughs> I have the least amount of books on my TBR. And I'm happy about it because it might mean that I can pick up what I feel like reading at this specific moment I feel like reading it. I mean, I've had a few issues over the past months where I, I've wanted to pick up a TBR unwrapping book, um, but I haven't felt like I could pick up the TBR unwrapping book because I was in the middle of something else that I wanted to read, that I needed to read or I had some obligations. So I've tried to minimize the amount of books I have on my TBR this month so I can have a lot more free room to add all these other things that I want to do. Also, I have two things I want to participate in this month, which is the Spookathon that run from October 14th to October 20th. And then if I can, I will also participate in Dewey Streetathon on the 26th to the 27th. Um, because that is a fun readathon that I usually get a lot of reading in. But it is also just the week before my brother's birthday, or the weekend before my brother's birthday. And I don't know if he intends to uh, hold his birthday the weekend before or the weekend after. So that's why I'm saying I might, <laughs> um, because I don't know at this point when he's um, considering uh, throwing his birthday party. His birthday is on a Thursday, just as mine was. Um, because that's something I can always remember <laughs> and it's on Halloween so yeah um, so his uh, birthday is the 31st and so I don't know if he's going planning on having his birthday on the 2nd 3rd ish November or if he plans to invite us on the 26th 27th so if he does that I don't plan on participating but otherwise I am planning on participating so that was a long talk about that. In terms of my audio plans for the month, I only have five books down that I am planning on reading for sure. And then the rest I add is just what I feel like and I am happy about that. Also, the Spookathon books are not on this, but those are not part of this TBR. I'll have a TBR later, closer to the time of the Spookathon. But the first one I have on my TBR for October is An Augmentation of Historians by Jodie Taylor, the book nine in the Chronicles of St. Mary series and this, it's become a really a series I've been really fond of. The last book I read was amazing. I gave it five stars so I'm really looking forward to see what will happen in this one. Um, it's also part of the Stacking the Series challenge. Another Stacking the Series book that I'm planning on reading in October is Feet of Clay by Tara Pratchett. This is the 19th book in the Discworld series and it is the third book in the City Watch series, and I'm looking forward to reading this so much. Uh, City Watch is one of my favorite sub series alongside the Death series and the Witches series, so can't wait to dive back into this one. Um, I don't know what this one is about. It says there's a werewolf with pre lunar tension in Angmapog and a dwarf with an attitude and a golem who's begun to think for itself. So, yeah. Um, the City Watch is actually the sort of investigation group in Angmapok, so they sort of uh, act a little bit like police. But it's not necessarily just your average crime novel, obviously. <laughs> um, but it does make a little bit fun of the typical um, crime novels, and I kind of like that. And because I actually had so many, so so little amount of books on my TBR. I decided to put both the two remaining books from my genre TBR of the mystery on this month also because it's sort of fitting with thriller mystery kind of books in October so then I can start on a new category in November. But the first of those books is Sweet Little Lies by Cass Freer. I think this is set in either England, Ireland or Scotland. I forgot which one but it's definitely a UK ish sort of setting and it follows I think it does follow a private investigator or um, someone going into a police procedural kind of thing but I'm not exactly sure about it um, but it was on this list for me to read so I am diving into it I hope it's good 
then the last one on this Chang'e TBR um, is The Child Finder by Renee Delvinfield. Um, I remember having this on my TBR way before um, I actually added it to this one. So I'm excited to read this one and I hope I will enjoy it. Um, you know, you sort of have an itch to read something at a specific moment, but you can't because you're in the middle of so many other books. And when you get around to actually starting the next book, you sort of forgotten about it again. Um, and I, I hope uh, I will enjoy it as much as I feel like I might, but I keep, have kept postponing it because I, I don't know. Um, so yeah, this will be the last one on that TBR. And the last and final audio I've put on my list for the month is uh, In the Hands of the Goddess by Tamara Pierce, the second book in the Song of the Lioness series, because I am planning on continuing with the total read-along thing. And I hope you all are, are going to be joining me uh, as well. So those were all of the audios. I thought I had another audio on to go on here, but it turns out I only have access to an ebook of this, and it is Pet Cemetery by Stephen King. This is the next book in the Stephen King series project, I, a reading project I have, and I'm super scared to get into this one. This is one of the Stephen King books that I've actually watched the adaptation of. Uh, I ha I own um, Pet Cemetery DVD. In DVD form and I've watched it once. I had, I don't know how much I remember of the adaptation. I don't think I remember it as being completely wowing me, but there was definitely some creepy vibes and there's always something to do, something with scary things that are scary with uh, little kids <laughs> um, doing horrible stuff and animals. Um, yeah, so, but I'm, and I know that I've heard that Stephen King himself has talked about this book being the one that he was most scared of while he was writing it. So yeah, I'm looking forward to reading it. It's like 500 pages, so we'll see how it goes. But it's one of the first ones I plan on picking up in October so that I can get through it a little quicker, hopefully. <laughs> then of course I have the Selassny books. I am planning on reading Blood of Amber because I didn't get to it in September uh, uh, in this month and Hopefully I will be able to do that since I don't have very many books on my TBR this month. So I'm hoping to get through this one. This is 215 pages long. And then I have Alala's favorite book, obviously. And the one I have put on the list this month is Milk and Honey by Ru Ruby Power. Ruby Cower? Ruby Cower, is that how you say it? Um, this is also only like 200 pages, but it's a collection of poems, so I guess it's not very long. I have reserved it from the uh, from my overdrive library, so it will come in sometime soon. There are I'm second in line on eight copies, so it should be here pretty soon. Um, so yeah, and the last and final thing I put on is the seventh book in the Amber Chronicles called Sign of Chaos by Roger Zelazny. If I can get through these two books. I said it a couple of times, but I think this one this month is a better option because I don't have as many physical books on my TBR. So those are actually all of my books on my October TBR this month. Um, in terms of my audios, it I will only have to listen to 45 minutes a day to complete all of these audio audios in the speed that I usually listen to them in. And in terms of my reading, I need to read about around 40 pages per day in order to complete the four books I have on that. So it should be possible, it should be even be possible for me to add in a book or two. Um, but you know, I've also said that I haven't picked out, I haven't shown you my um, TBR for Spookathon yet. So in general, I need to read a little more every day for me to finish all of this as well as the Spookathon. But still, I think I am quite set for this. So yeah, this is all I had for you this time around. Let me know in the comments down below what you're planning on reading in October. Are you getting re into the spooky reading moods uh, as well as me? And um, have you read any of the books that I'm talking about that I plan on reading? Uh, are you planning on joining in on the Alana read-along as well? Are you going to be participating in Spookathon or the Dewey's 24-hour readathon? Also, let me know about that in the comments if you are. And yeah. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video very soon. Goodbye!